Hi everyone, Helen London here at Activate Learn on Twitter and it is time for another book review. I haven't done one of these for a while simply because I've been reading a lot more and I seem to read more than I could create videos. But I thought this time around I really want to talk about this one. This is Italo Calvino's Invisible Cities. Have you read this? It is such a beautiful book and I'm glad I read it. Some time ago, I downloaded one of his books called If on a Winter's Night, A Traveller, and I downloaded it on the Kindle, and his writing style was very different to what I um, had read before, and I simply couldn't get into it, and I left it aside. I thought I will have to read this another time when I'm in that mindset. But recently, just before the corona outbreak, I was visiting my local bookshop, and I saw this on the shelves and decided to... Give it another go. Give Italo Calvino another shot. And I bought this book and I'm glad I did. It's called Invisible Cities. But if you're thinking that it's a travelogue of a, of a place and of cities, a description of cities, yes, it's a description of cities. Yes, it's a travelogue. But there's no, there's no map in this place. There is no... Um, these cities actually don't exist and yet they do. As I was reading this book, I felt as if I was reading an artwork, if that makes sense. I felt as if I was standing in front of a wall with a beautiful piece of artwork of a stunning, imaginary, fantastical city of the future, of the past, of the present, and that I was reading it, if that makes sense. It the language and the writing is so, so beautiful. And as you read it, you start to realise that these 55 cities all really are not actual places. They're not where places you visit and yet you, you have visited. They're not places that you go to and yet you've already been there and you've, you've gone there. You've experienced them. Um, Italo Calvino is actually talking about the question of how should we live and I'm glad I read this book because reading through the 55 cities I started to think you know could I live there well thing is you're already living in it can I see myself in this city well the thing is you've already been in this city you've probably already experienced it and been there or have left from it um, the story also, as the, the, the cities are all about memory, time, death, there's thin cities, trading, trading cities, there's all sorts of different cities in here. The, it's a conversation really between Marco Polo the Explorer and Kublai Khan who was the Emperor. And Kublai Khan at the time used to get all these stories from his merchants as they would come back from the cities of his empire and they would describe them. So this is what Marco Polo was doing here. And so the, it's a conversation between Kublai Khan and Marco Polo interspersed by descriptions of some stunning, beautiful cities uh, that we've experienced. We don't actually go there, but we're living in it. We're experiencing it. Really hard to explain, but one that is so beautiful, highly recommended at this time and place and what we are going through. It makes you realize to appreciate what you have and the people in these cities are really of their own. They've gotten into these situations of their own doing. And as you read it, you go, this is actually writing about us. He's writing about our experiences and he's writing about how we handle our, those experiences and how we have gotten into those experiences out of our own will. And it is up to us to change it or to move out of that city or that thinking um, to experience life and live life the way we should read it. We should. So that is it for now. Um, Invisible Cities by Calvino. Beautiful book. One of my best reads for this year. And at a time of coronavirus, I know I'm reading quite differently to what I'm used to. 
I'm picking up books that are much more related to compassion, humanity, um, human spirit, um, love, and because this is what we need at this time. This is what we need. So please, please read it. Okay, bye for now. That's it.